welcome AD. Come on in to our plaza apartment. You gonna do the tour? Why don't you, you start do, the why, tour? Why don't you start the tour? All right, I'll start the tour. Okay. She'll, she's better at it. <laughs> this is our entry hall. This leads right on to basically our living room. This is one of my favorite spots in the apartment, sort of little hanging out nook where we read books or magazines and have a drink and chat. There's a lot of history in the plaza. The Beatles stayed here, the Rolling Stones stayed here, Marilyn Monroe stayed here. We just think it's iconic and uh, above anything else, we love the location. You see all the way across the 59th Street Bridge and all the buildings in the area are lit so you have a whole different vibe at night. If you follow us through here, we can show you the dining room. The dining room we never use. I think we've probably had three dinners here. We usually either have takeout or we <laughs> go out. This is our little bar area. Tommy, you usually are a Chardonnay drinker. Is that correct? That's correct. Would you correct. agree with me? This is my drink, Don Julio 1942. I would say this is a pretty important spot in our house. All right, so through these doors uh, is the kitchen. I can't say that the kitchen sees a lot of cooking action because after all, that's what restaurants are for. Although you do make the occasional piece of toast. This is one of my favorite rooms in the entire house. Dee said, I want a French bistro in the house. I thought, is that gonna be a little too Disney or something? She started pulling ideas together, found this black and white tile for the floor, the black and white marble, and it came together in a way that was really surprising to me. I love it and it's my favorite in the house. So we're going to go into the den now. This room is actually maybe the most modern room in the house. Dee wanted all the TVs behind mirrors. It's a mirror, no, it's a TV. No, it's a mirror, it's a TV. Trying to figure out how to turn it off. There we go. Turn room off. Okay, ah. we did it. If you guys come in here, we have something special to show you. This is my office. These were a gift from Mick Jagger. These books were gifts from Karl Lagerfeld. We have a painting my wife bought me for my birthday from Charles Wiggins of the Plaza. My favorite photo of my wife by Antoine Bergla and an Annie Leibovitz family portrait of our seven children. And sometimes Dee and I come in just to get away from our seven anything children. that may be going on in the rest of the apartment. Oh, one of the kids. Yeah, one of the kids. One of the kids, there you go. Okay. This sign was one of the original New York Times signs on 43rd Street at their headquarters, and we bought it specifically for this room. Dee had a fight with the concierge at the Ritz Hotel in Paris to get these oh, dogs. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that was... That was incredible. That was incredible. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Are we going upstairs? Let's go upstairs. If you guys follow us this way, this is the master suite, which we have to clean. Yeah. <laughs> which, <laughs> cut! <laughs> Here is our master bedroom. I love it because it's so airy and light. It's cozy, but it's elegant. This is one of the features that I love that I think everybody must we have. We have our own mini bar. We have our own little mini bar coffee station. When you wake up, you don't have to go down to the kitchen. And another favorite part of the apartment is the terrace overlooking the park. Once you get your coffee over there, you can just move over here and have our coffee overlooking Central Park on our terrace. Here is the master bath. His and her sinks, very important, no fighting. And we then have the dressing area. And this is my little glam station over here. I s decided to set up my own boutique. I have basically uniform taste. White shirts, blue shirts, navy suits, gray suits, black tuxedos, chinos, jeans, and navy and gray sweaters. So uh, it's perfect for my uniform. Yours is definitely bigger. No, 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 no. Mine has nothing in it. I know. Uh, maybe we should convert it into something because it's not being a closet. This is Sebastian. 
This is his room. This is my favorite piece in his room. It's actually two giant drums that have been cut out to make bookshelves. And I thought it was just such a clever piece and so much fun. This room is more signature Tommy Hilfiger than any room in the house because it is red, white, and blue. Sebastian loves this room and he loves sleeping in his boat bed. The idea was to make it very nautical. This room is uh, a guest room slash child's room, depending on who's visiting at we, the time. We call it the swing room, <laughs> not to be confused with a swinger's room. Walls are adorned with my favorite rock and roll photographs from Janis Joplin, Tina Turner, The Beatles, Paul McCartney, The Who, The Stones. And then if we go through here, this is sort of another whole wing that we did for Tommy's teenage daughter, Elizabeth. This is the, the lilac or purple room. My daughter Elizabeth chose to decorate the room this way. She was going to school here at the time. Now she's living in LA, designing her own collection. The painting above the doorway is a painting done by Tommy's daughter, Allie, that I actually bought at her first art show. I actually love that painting. Those elephant tusks are fake. We do not harm animals in the making of this apartment. We'd like everybody to know. This is the dome in the building. So we have the natural bracing and the authentic original bricks. The chandelier is from the New York Times lobby when it was on 43rd Street. The mural on the wall is painted by Hilary Knight, the illustrator for the Eloise book. That is me and that is Tommy. It looks like we're getting out of some kind of canoe or gondola. This is for coffee, tea, and desserts. Occasionally we use it as a room for pizza. It's a pizza tea room. Here, you have to pick up your cup. Okay. Pick up your cup. And no, you have to have it, your pinky has Ding. <laughs> ding the pinky up is the proper. That's right, let's see, a little more angle. There you go, good. And then, sip. Perfect. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming, bye.